welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the segment where we take a look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a brand new 2023 Jayco J Feather 30QB, and at about 7,400 pounds with just a single slide, this thing's pretty impressive because it can sleep up to about 10 people which I think is kind of cool. A lot of bunkhouse travel trailers don't really accommodate that many. I certainly don't want to travel with that many people in a travel trailer, but it's possible here. And let's see how it's done. I do want to get started, however, right here in the kitchen where I'm at, because they've done a good job with laying it out in such a compact space. Everything's very accessible. We have our countertops in an L shape here with the glass covered three burner stove just to extend our counter surfaces. It's got an oven with a large drawer underneath. Our single basin, or excuse me, dual basin sink is covered up by both a cutting board and a nice strainer here with a nice high rise faucet for washing out those dirty pots and pans. Up above, we have cabinetry lining it and a Furion microwave. Our refrigerator is hiding over here in the slide. This is a Furion 12 volt refrigerator, so it cools down super fast and has more volume than the traditional gas electric. They've used as much space as they possibly can. They've even put a drawer down beneath it. In the very back of the unit, we have our bunkhouse. The bunkhouse, in my opinion, is pretty cool. It's a unique layout that I'm not super familiar with in a lot of other brands, but it's L-shaped in the sense that we've got bunk over bunk with a sofa down low that sits across from our inner entertainment system that is flanked by storage. This sofa is actually a jackknife, so it does lay flat and become yet another bed. And up above me, we have a bed that's raised up and locked off into an up position to make getting up and down using the entertainment system easier. It simply pops out at the pull of a latch it drops down and creates more of that L-shaped sleeping space. Another thing that I think is really cool that they've done back here is add a cargo door, which is gonna get us the ability to bring in all kinds of toys, coolers, ice chests, whatever you may need for your camping trip that's a little too large for that pass-through storage. Jayco's incorporated a couple of other cool things with the bunk room in the sense that they've given us little bungee nets for holding phones, they're right next to USB chargers, and they've got a cool new ladder system for getting in and out of the bunks that folds up and away very nicely. Now, leaving the bunk room and pushing forward towards the front of the camper, we've got our kitchen that we've already taken a look at, and then we have an L-shaped dining and living room space, which I think is kind of cool. They've given us this nice big U-shaped dinette. This can convert into another bed. It sits directly across from our entertainment system. On top of that, we have a tri-fold sofa that's sitting on the back wall here in the living room. This pulls out, it converts into a bed that sleeps too. So here in this room alone, between the dinette and the sofa bed, we could sleep four potentially. Our entertainment system, again, kind of where everybody can see it. The TV is definitely on a mount here so it can pull out and face the couch if you want it to. It has storage built in all around it, a Bluetooth headset here, which ties back into the radio. You can hook your phone to it. You can play your media through it. As we head up towards the front, we'll pass our bathroom. Let me open this up for you. The bathroom is pretty spacious for this style of travel trailer. There's a fair amount of storage immediately on the left when you walk in. We have a glass enclosure shower. We've got a nice foot flush high toilet, plenty of storage in the form of our medicine cabinet and down below. That leads us into our bedroom where we have a queen bed and again, kind of a traditional travel trailer setup up here. We've got closets on either side of the bed. We've got a little bit of storage space down low in the front as well as plugs. We've got USB and traditional 110 light switches. Even around the back, we've got spaces where we can set stuff for the evening, whether that be your phone or a glass of water or just random knickknacks that you may want access to. 
this all available for you to grab right there. We have a spot where we can hook up a TV in here on the far wall. It wouldn't be a huge flat screen, but there is a way to get entertainment back here. And because they put in a sliding door for this room, there's no swinging to get in a way of getting in and out. This What's interesting about this though is that it does have an entry door from the outside into the bedroom, which is something that we don't super commonly see. Heading back towards the front, we come across right by our main entry door, a nice big closet with deep recessed shelves. You could stand up brooms and other things. They put spots to hang jackets in there. I can see this acting as a pantry, overflow storage, a spot for vacuum cleaners, just a catch-all for everything you might bring along on your camping trip. Right next to that, we have our Furion controller for our tankless hot water heater. This thing's kind of cool because you can dial in the temperature you want and it runs off of propane as opposed to the typical electric setup that we've seen with tank style. Now I want to do what most of our audience ask us to do and run the slide in real quick so that you guys can see what's accessible with the slide end. All right, so now that the slide is in, you can see that we can come through our entry door. We have access to everything that's immediately right here in our kitchen. We can get to our kitchen sink, all of the pantry stuff that we mentioned before, all of those cabinets. The refrigerator is gonna be a little tough to get into. You could slide a hand in there and grab something if you wanted to, but otherwise, eh. It's, it's pretty okay. We can definitely get to the bathroom in the main bedroom. And remember, there's that cargo access door to the bunk room back there. So overall, I would say that this thing's pretty accessible with the slide closed. Let's open it back up and pop outside and check out some of the exterior features. outside of the 30 QB. We've got a few things going on that are pretty cool and we see them kind of across the J Feather line, but this one in particular has a few extras. Let's get started right up at the front where I wanna point out that the side markers here are equipped with Furion camera system. So this is an aftermarket product that can be added back to the camper. And essentially when you have your setup in the vehicle, you can see the sides of the camper as well when you're going down the road, making merging into traffic or changing lanes a little bit easier. As you can see, this has a big pass-through storage. There's lots of space in there and it's super well lit. We've got a little insulated baggage door here and it's got a magnetic catch, so that's very nice. As we saw inside, this thing has multiple doors. So getting into the bedroom from the outside has its own entryway. There's an entryway that goes up into our living space. And there's even that small cargo door that's over on the off door side for that bunk room. So from a safety perspective, there's always a way out of this thing from any room in the house. Speaking of this front door though, it does have the solid step entry. So you don't get that diving board effect going in and out. Makes it easier for lots of differently abled people getting in and out. Plus it has this big grab handle here. We have two power awnings on this unit. Both are lit by LED strips. There's outside speakers. We've got an outside kitchen, which is actually pretty well equipped too. It comes with this J-Port griddle setup. So they have this basically a two inch receiver that's on the side of the camper that goes through the frame. And we plug in this stand that we can set our griddle up in. And this connects back to the LP on the front. So we're running it off the in-house gas. You could also set up a grill or something else off of that LP if you wanted to, like an outside heater. In our little outdoor kitchen space, we've got a few things going on. We've got USB charging ports, bottle openers, 110 outlets on both sides, lights, a small electric refrigerator, some storage, and then they've gone and put in this cool little sink here 
and a cutting board with some storage up underneath for like knives and other things that you just want to keep out in your little outside kitchen. I think that's pretty cool. As we push around to the back, we'll notice that the back is set up for that back rear view camera too. If you want to have the typical square tube bumper with the spare tire mounted back here and our ladder heads up to a fully walkable roof. Pushing around the corner, right here at the very back corner, we have it set up with our shore power. So that's gonna be a quick and easy add, like just getting hooked up in the campsite. It's all right here. There's an outside shower as well. And something, I don't have them down right now, but we'll get a shot of it. They've got the new Lippert stable jack system under there. It's kind of a step up from the traditional scissor jacks in the sense that it does make the camper a little more stable. There's that back door that heads into that bunk room. Again, just making loading in toys, grills, anything else you might want to bring along with you pretty easy to do. If it doesn't fit into that front outside storage, it'll definitely fit in there. And they've carved out all kinds of space here. Even on the back side of the dinette, they've dedicated an open space for putting in extras and goodies. Again, I think that's really cool. So this thing has no lack of outside storage. Our dump station is just forward of our slide. We've got our, all of our tank poles right there as well as our city water connection and our black tank flush. And that brings us right back up to the front where we have that pass through storage once again, accessible from both sides. And on this side, the driver's side, we have a battery cutoff switch built in down here, which is really nice because when you go to put this thing into storage, you just flip that. You don't have to worry about anything inside draining your 12 volt system. Up here at the front cap, notice that we've got a half molded front cap. This is nice, this is very aerodynamic very solid. I love the marker lights that they've got put into this. Those look great going down the road. We've got an electric tongue jack, built-in holders for all of our hookups and cables. I think that's very nice as well. And of course our propane is covered here. I think this thing is an awesome little trailer for families. It's definitely worth checking out in person. Come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. And we're right off I-75 between exits 216 and 218. You can also check us out online at southernrv.com. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you love this content. We're always putting out more. We've got new videos coming out weekly, so smash that button. And until next time, guys, happy camping.